Buzz Brunch with the Peter Central Public Library. I am Miss Shannon. And I'm Miss Linda, and we're back with part two of the March happenings in the Youth Services Department. Yes. At your PT. I shouldn't abbreviate Peter Township Public Library. Yes. How's that? You, that's good. All right. All right. We're going to jump right so, into yep. what, what do you got to you know? Got to know. What do you got to know? All I'm right. always interested to know. Linda tells me things that apparently I've got to know that I never knew that I got to know to know to know that. That's right. <laughs> we're going to tell you what you got to know. That's what we're going to do. So last time I talked about a 12 year old that started in India, you know, did mm -hmm. her own library. So on the other end of the spectrum, this is about a, a, a woman who's 101, and her name is Sarah, Sarah Yerkes. And in her 90s, a friend invited her to try something new. Now, this woman is amazing anyway to begin with. I mean, she had decade-long decades -long careers as a landscape architect using brick and stone, mm -hmm. a sculptor creating abstract works in wood and steel, and in her later years, paper mache. But as she aged, sculpting became physically challenging. So last month, at the age of 101, she rela released her first collection of poems. Wow. Yep. That's called cool. Days of Blue and Flame. Unbelievable. Uh, published by pa Passenger Books at the University of Baltimore. Um, the, the book is the latest uh, iteration of a creative mind that has worked with form and style for the better part of a century. Wow. She feels like she had uh, like fairies that would watch over her um, to keep her creative and mm -hmm. to keep her working creatively. So um, she'd started sculpting. She didn't even, well see, this is what I love about this woman. Sculpting came to her like decades, like into life. She didn't even start it until she was in her 50s. Oh wow. And she became this major sculptor. And Which if you're 101 though, that's only that's half of your life it's still. Like, <laughs> isn't that something? Worked as a sculptor all the way into her early um, 80s. And then she moved on and realized that it was hard for her to sculpt and, and she felt like she had nothing, like she needed stuff to do. Wow. I mean, this lady at 101 wasn't just gonna just quit or sit back and crochet wow. or whatever. I'm nothing against crocheting, mind you, mm -hmm. but do you know what I mean? Like become right. sedentary, Right. you know, she was just gonna keep going. So um, she had met a man that was a retired television producer whose father had been Treasury sec Secretary, this is how old they are, under Franklin Delano Roosevelt. They met, they were the same age, traveled in si similar circles, and he, at a when he turned 100, published his first book of poems. Wow. How cool is that? So she they they loved the fact that they both were creative and that they both could do this said that they encouraged each mm -hmm. other yeah which is nice like the parents of the the 12 year old right you know, getting start her own you library need the, you need the support but i like what they said um what they say about you know the beauty of this at an older age <laughs> I want to keep going too. I just well, I mean, you've always talked about how you want to write a book. So if you got to 101 to publish it, you got a long time to go. You have a long time true. to work on that book. That's true. I have a long time to think about it. So, <laughs> but I like how they. Um, one of the 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 um, co-editors of the press that that published it said, "When you are older, you have to adapt to a smaller universe, but you bring to that all of the tools you have learned throughout your life." and apply them in new and interesting ways. At a time we normally think, uh, um, think of as winding down, this woman's imagination was unfolding. Wow, and crazy. Yep. God bless her. Yep. And I like this too because I don't, I can't say that this is true for our job, this, this line I'm about to say and end with, um, but it is for many people in jobs not ours because we are blessed to be able to use our creativity here it says at a regular but a regular job doesn't always require a person to plumb her own soul mm. which means re, you know like get in there and just 
you know, bring out the creativity. Right. If Be you want to. Some people could give a rip if they're creative or right. not or, right. you know, don't have that nest, that drive or whatever. But um, over 100, that rocks. That's awesome. That rocks. There's still time. I'm not close yeah. to that age yet. And I can indeed write that book. You got time. Yeah. I mean, no time now to start, but you got a long time to figure it out. It could take a long. Yeah, if I started now, it might take that long. So there, the spectrums, the 12-year-old and the 100-something-year-old wow. using their hearts or souls or creativity. I love it. Yep. Very cool. Moving on. All right, so that's what you got okay. to know. Now, this is what you got to do. What yeah. are you going to do at the library? Okay. Should we? Uh, sure. Now, wait. If we're going to decorate for the got to do's. Look at you, you got all kinds of. Oh, I do. I even guys. brought you, you know, if you wanted to have this at some point. A tattoo. A tattoo. Okay. Here's oh. our little mini pots of green gold. Okay. <laughs> green gold, moldy now, gold. <laughs> then you have a choice. I want so the we hat. Have, do you? Yeah. The little hats or mm -hmm. the. I'll start, I think I'll we've start done with these the before. hat. Yeah, let's like do the, the hat. hat. I felt so uh, you must have gotten to the St. Patrick's Day basket before I did and had the good stuff because all did. I found was this guy and he kind of he kind of he kind of creeps me out a little bit. Yeah, he, yeah. His eyes never stop looking at you. Yeah, I did rate it immediately <laughs> when I started thinking about my head's gonna pop. <laughs> <laughs> We need pointy oh, heads. I'm not very lucky. But, okay, so anyways, so what does, okay. that, what does that all mean? Luck what O the mean? Library on um, the um, 17th of March, little family story, pa um, patriotic, St. Patrick's Day story time. Um, How about that? I'll try that. Um, at the library, 6.30, Luck O the Library, March 17th. Yep. Um, go hunt for a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Do yep. some fun crafts, um, fun little St. Patrick's Day stuff. Yes. On the 17th. So okay. very fun. Sounds good. So coming up, for, that's going to be for families all ages. And then after that, we're going to have on the 19th. So that's the 17th is a Tuesday. The 19th mm -hmm. is a Thursday. Mm -hmm. In the evening, we're going to have a um, DIY T-shirts. I meant to bring a sample. I actually was going to steal one off your desk because I saw one sitting there. But um, um, we're going to be making um, literacy and oh, reading, love of reading shirts. Um, using resources we have at the library. We have a Cricut at the library that's for staff only use. So we're gonna have pre-made um, fun little quotes and sayings and things about reading and books and mm -hmm. um, cute stuff to make your own shirt. So you can, br um, we recommend you do bring your own shirt. I have some, but sizes may or may not be what you need. Or so, colors. Or colors or, yeah. and stuff. So um, bring your own. Find something fun. You know, um, we can, you can even do a sweatshirt, whatever you want, and we will show you how to, how to use the, the, the Cricut, how to weed out the, um, the vinyl and how to adhere it. We have also have a heat press. So really cool stuff at the library to make your own free shirt, um, one of a kind at seven o'clock on the 19th. Excellent. We mentioned last time that the spring programs will be beginning on March 23rd. Now is the time to register online. And a little reminder about that because one of the grandmas asked me today, once you register for our ongoing programs mm -hmm. at the beginning of each session, you're done. Yep. You're in for all of them. That doesn't mean you can't be sick or miss or whatever. Mm -hmm. Stuff happens. Right. Um, but once you register, you are in. So, um, I, yeah. I and you can them. see we have a lot of things going on. We don't expect you to be able to read all that on your screen. but. Um, you can come pick one of those up at the library yep. or that's all listed online as well. It's so all online. that just tells you all the stuff that we have going on in the next two months. Register so online. We want to see Register online. Yes. All right. So that begins on the 23rd and that night happens to be family Lego night um, on Monday night, the 23rd. Oh, did you bring something? I have some Legos. At 630. It's a family thing. Um, we put out Lego making challenge cards. And this man doesn't it. have any legs. Oh, okay, and then you make things. So we'll have fun with that. We have a n nice families that come to that and yeah. enjoy it. And Isn't talk about being creative at all ages. You know, at that's all what's ages. cool about Legos is you can. I feel yeah, like you never nice really, you never really outgrow Legos. Have you put this one back together? No, this is just um, random things I pulled out of our okay. extremely large Lego bins. Oh, see, so you are better than me. 
Uh -huh. Well, with getting the Lego. See, I got the St. Patrick stuff. You got the Lego. See, look at that. That's, that's too Very hard. good. So that's on Monday the 23rd at 6.30. And next month, I'll just mention it now because you want to come and see what it's like to be able to build Legos um, with your as a family. And then April will be uh, make and take. So you can make some. Very good. Make something. So if you made that There's in even April, a, a you'll be able to take it with you. Oh, well, I would love to have this. There's even a switchboard on there. See? So this is yeah. my spaceship. Okay. I'm Obviously, impressed. with my legless pilot. Yeah, you don't need to have legs to be a pilot. No. Well, sure. You're right? Yeah. Anybody can do anything with Absolutely. Them. Must have faith you can do it. <laughs> okay. All right, All moving right. on. Very cool. Team yes. or family Lego night. Okay, so um, going into, so we we did St. Patrick's Day. Now we're going to move into Easter. Oh. So right. quick cost, quick change. See, we oh. like we like the quick change people. We are. Thank so, you. So um, we're gonna have our teen egg dyeing. A really fun like teen DIY um, afternoon on a Tuesday afternoon at three thirty. Come walk over. We'll have all the supplies you need to do some really different kinds of egg dyeing techniques. Mm. Um, and then you can take them your eggs home. And um, so that will be on Tuesday, March twenty fourth, three thirty. Teen egg dyeing. Cool. So lots of fun. Cool. Well, you know what? I'm just going to switch our little thing a little bit okay. since you brought that up. Um, we're go we're going to we'll, we'll we'll do this one. Okay. So I figured that's what you were going. Yeah. With. We're bring, so we're having I've got good I kind of have to say it like this. I've got good news and bad news. Okay. The good news is Such we are is life. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the good news is we are doing our annual Easter egg hunts. Okay, that's the good news. Okay. All right. Two of them. Mm -hmm. The bad news is they filled up already. Yep. Uh, the registration was online. They are full. It took me by surprise. How fast. How, how fast they filled up. So I just want to mention that we are doing it, and I feel bad if you're not able to get in. Um, come and see me. I'll give you an egg. No, these look ones at look these. like a mess. Look at these They glitter are very eggs. messy. So we leave all the glitter behind Ooh, for these late. Like, yeah. Would I give you an empty Ooh, egg? Oh, no, you didn't. No, oh. and I made sure I brought an egg no, for Now, is this from this year? It is. Okay. It's fresh. Mm. Mm, I don't know what that is. No, oh, but gum. I brought one for everybody can have an Easter egg. Mm. So I'll let me take that one That was a bad choice. Why? What was it? Well, Aren't they gum or something? It's, yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be bubble gum. I thought it was going to be chocolate. <laughs> oh, sorry about your luck. <laughs> Some of these might have chocolate in it. I can't remember. I stuffed them with okay, something. No. But anyway, Easter eggs for now everybody. Be chomping away here. Yes, we'll give away Easter eggs since they, they won't be able to make the mm -hmm. egg. Now, we did actually recently find an egg from 2019, hopefully 2019. Oh, we did. <laughs> we did. We find them a year later. We do. I haven't tried the candy in it yet but that's why I asked if this is from this well year. I was gonna bring you an egg but I don't think I oh yes I did this would be the bummer egg to find oh yeah right yeah didn't like is that right up there with that watermelon no it's not ago? bad I just don't feel like chewing on bubble gum oh yeah you can't this is that's what we should do <laughs> For the bad kids, <laughs> <laughs> just to give them put them in a room with the eggs that don't even open. <laughs> Come Those on. are chucking them at each just other. Just kidding. We're <laughs> nice people. We would never do that and you know scar a child for life because they went to an Easter egg hunt and the egg didn't open and there was no chocolate <laughs> and they cried all the way home. We would never do that, right? Never say never. Never say never. Okay, ready? Okay. So that was fun. So yeah, egg, that was fun. Egg. Yep. I'm um, cleaning up my mess. Egg hunt. Very cool. All right. And glitter eggs. This is a. All right. We got to move. That's a mess. Okay. Family drawing workshop. So we are really Leaving excited to um, partner with Lindsay Barrett George. Oh, yeah. Children's author. Um, she I'm was the first ever one. PA One Book Every Child um, recipient for her book Inside Out Mouse, Outside Mouse. Um, and we are really excited to have her come to the library. She's going to be partnering with us to do um, a wide range of programs. During the day, we're going to have mm -hmm. our preschool tea for all of our local preschoolers to come in. They can, um, and Lindsay Barrett's going to, George is going to be our keynote speaker mm -hmm. for that. Then we're doing in the afternoon, later on that day, we're going to have a, um, a 
program for Sicily for educators and librarians for, with her um, yep. resources and showing how to use her books in your classrooms and things. And then in the evening, we are having a family drawing workshop. So this is for families with children, preschool, kindergarten, young children, to come and learn how to write and draw together. Um, as the, and she's going to be kind of showing some fun techniques and things to do with little, little kids. Not So I think that's what's kind of yeah. cool about it is it's geared it's for the preschool, like preschool age. So that's going to be on um, the 20th, March 20th, 6.30, um, Lindsay Barrett George Family Drawing Workshop. I'm excited to see what you have to share. Well, I went to one of her workshops mm -hmm. at the Pennsylvania Library Association thing, and she did the workshop that she's going to do on this day, on that Friday. She did it with us, and um, I got a picture with her with the characters that, from the book that she did it with. It was hilarious. I look at you with that big mouse. <laughs> so Cute. I don't know if you can. This is who's coming. And I don't know if you can. Yeah, this is who's coming, and she's doing her workshop. Her workshop is great. It's very engaging. She involves everybody, and um, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, the, so I'm excited this to have is her come. Her. Very cool. So come on and Here meet her. You can get a picture taken with her too. You can yep. get her autograph. Her, Feel free to bring yep, books with to have the inside signed. and outside. Mouse. Yep, and learn how to draw. Yes. All it's right. Very cool. That will be very exciting. I think so. Yeah. Okay. So those are all the things that you got to do. Got to do. And um, in the second half of March um, at now, the Peter Central Library. Now, what do you got, got to, to read? read. Got Absolutely. to read. Yes. So, uh, Miss Linda, I do. Would you like to share what you would like to got? What you would like to got to read? What I would like to got to read? Yes. <laughs> I got to read Forget Me Not. This is a pre, uh, the first book by Ellie Terry. It is so good. And I, you know what? Personally, I feel like this is the first book that I've read where the, um, the main character is dealing with Tourette's. Oh, yeah, I don't think I've ever read one. No, I've, you know, we've got lots of other books about other um, issues and challenges and all kinds of things. First book that I've read that deals with um, a, a, a girl who's suffering from Tourette's and how, and how tough that's been. And her name, they call her Callie, and it's Calliope, Calliope. June has Tourette syndrome, says she sometimes makes faces or noises that she doesn't mean to make. When she and her mother move yet again, she tries to hide her TS, but it isn't long before the kids at her new school realizes that she's different. Only uh, her neighbor, who is also the popular student body president, sees her as she truly is, an interesting person and a good friend. But is he brave enough to take their friendship public? So, um, and she, she's just navigating through school, worried that she's going to have to move again. It's also written a lot like a lot of the books now in the prose and the different, you know, the shorter, you know, one page little things. My favorite chapter or piece was this one, and, and she labeled it Coward. And this was that popular student council, student body president. He said, I can't believe it. He goes, I just sat there. Callie fell. She was hurt, and I just sat there. Mm -hmm. Let Kiss Up Kenny help her up. I've got to be the worst student body president in the history of student body presidents, not to mention the most horrible friend Ever. And it goes on, and he was so upset with himself. He said, I'll just disappear now. The coward will disappear. Oh, wow. And these are issues, yeah. right? You know, of kids that, that suffer from something mm -hmm. and other kids that are afraid to stick up for them. Yeah, and not it's just, it could be anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. no, it's anything. Right. You know, it's it, that you just feel like, you know. And then they feel guilty that they didn't help when they could, should have helped. And they should have. Mm -hmm. It's about being kind. Yes, so be kind. Really, really recommend kindness. it. I think it should be kind of like the book Wonder. Yeah. Should be um, a required reading. Yeah. It's really, really good. Very cool. Yep. 
Well, I'm totally switching gears then because okay, I picked that's okay. Silly. This book has my favorite title, I think, of any book ever. It's called Kale, My Ex, and Other Things to Toss in a Blender. Oh, funny. So I just really enjoy this title of the book. And I like it. And I was browsing it. the shelves in the teen room. This That's popped out at me. funny. Again, I feel like I could have actually have talked about it before, but I just love the title of this yeah, book. Yeah, I love it. And so it's a um, really cute, quick, quick read about... Uh, Mia, you know, her summer before her senior year has, mm -hmm. is just going to be this epic fail because her first ever boyfriend dumps her right before school or uh, summer vacation. And um, so her and her best friend, Justine, are now stuck driving this lame snow cone truck as their summer job. And they're driving around town in the snow cone mm. truck. And um, so what are they going to do? They're going to cook up a recipe for revenge. So they create a fake... Um, fake online girl to kind of Aww, go after this kid yeah. and try to, you know, get even with him. And um, they're also going to create this one kale smoothie that's going to make them popular and rich. So I don't know how what this kale smoothie is going to do to help them become popular and rich, but um, I just, it says, epic breakup, two choices, wallow a summer, all summer, or find a way to cleanse a broken heart. It has got this little blunder in the back. I just... That's adorable. I just love the I title. I love the title. Book. That so is funny. I just feel like... It has to be good because the title is so fun. And I it love like, the cover, too, with her little kale smoothie and mm -hmm. her cute little turquoise nails. And I yep. Just, I love it. All right. I'm not going to ask if you've ever played this, but did you like it? Monopoly? Oh, I love Monopoly. I love, actually, I have um, Beagle Monopoly. I have Rudolph Monopoly. I have Penn Stateopoly. I have a Ninja Pittsburgh Turtle one. Monopoly. Oh, well. <laughs> Pass, go, and collect $200, the real story of how Mon Monopoly was invented, Tanya Lee Stone. You know, I love that um, they, the reason why I picked, well, first of all, it's brand new, but um, I love that they are coming out with books in the picture book form of biographies, mm -hmm. Um, inventions, you know, different things really cool that, -fiction yeah, stuff. really cool nonfiction stuff that kids gotta read. Yeah, right, and learn about, and you know, and and, so and every simple. kid should be familiar with the game Monopoly because you know there's Monopoly Juniors and stuff oh, too absolutely. for the younger ones, you know. And I feel like that's a fun thing to read, like with your child too, because mm -hmm. like I'm also intrigued, like. How did they come that Monopoly? Exactly. It is. It's really cool. And it also includes Monopoly math. So it, it, it shows. I just think it's so cool. And it asks, like, how, you know, how were you as a player? Did you save all your money for Park Place? Or did you spend it all away? Or did you buy houses or just buy hotel? I yeah. think it's a riot. That's I, so I used fun. to love playing this I game. I love playing Monopoly. Yeah, and watch the competitiveness come out, mm -hmm. you know. So every holiday season, we usually get together with our friends and play Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer Monopoly. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. All your right. Turn. So I decided to um, bring a couple of these. I I love the. I'm uh, you know if anyone who knows me knows that I'm a pretty intense Disney fan, and um, we have a several series now that are twists on Disney stories and they're written for teens. And this one is called Refle is Reflection and it's a twist of um, on Mulan. I decided to bring it because of the new um, live action Mulan movie mm -hmm. that's coming out this month. Mm -hmm. Now, that film is actually geared for teens. It's rated PG-13. It's more of an action film. It's not a cutesy Disney musical. Right. Um, it's taking more of the action um, and the war that was involved in that time. And that's what the movie is going to be more about with Mulan. and. Um, her and her girl power mm -hmm. that she has you know she disguises herself as a man to fight in this in this war but these twists Liz, Liz, well, this one's by Elizabeth Lim they're all by different people but um, we keep them all together with our Disney books they're all twists on a classic Disney story so this one is um, kind of has a little bit of a um, I want to say maybe even science fiction kind of fantasy twist to it. Um, it's if Mulan had to travel to the underworld. Ooh. So she goes and says like alternate universe. Oh. Um, and you know, and, and meets up with these different people and kind of has to fight all these oh, um, dear. creepy villains and things. Um, so it's very, very different kind of twist to the story. But 
um, you know, looking into the new movie coming out. It's a fun, it's a fun one, Reflection. And if you don't mind, I'm going to jump right to the next one because they yeah. go together. So this one is from the same series, another twisted tale. Um, we don't even have this catalog yet because it just came out. Mm -hmm. um, Conceal, Don't Feel. And it's a twist on Frozen mm -hmm. and with the new Frozen 2 out. Everybody's really into Frozen again. Um, it's what if Anna and Elsa never knew each other? So they are mm. sisters. Of course, but what would, how would the story have been different? Like we know if you've seen Frozen, which most people have, um, you know, they, mm -hmm. her powers se separate them. That, you know, that it's mm -hmm. not safe for them to be together because of Elsa's powers. But what if they were separated bef like before birth because of her powers were so dangerous and they never mm -hmm. knew each other? Mm -hmm. How would the story be different? So um, Conceal, like Don't it. Feel, a nice little twisted tale. Um, I love so these are really fun. You know, our summer reading theme is going to be fair, fairy tale related. Mm -hmm. A lot of Disney stories are mm -hmm. fairy tales. Um, so I just really love thinking about it in a different way. Like if yeah. you grew up with these movies and these stories and didn't like, oh, well, huh, that would be an interesting thought mm -hmm. to a it. A nice so, twist. little twist. So Conceal, Don't Feel. Reflection, two books from the um, Twisted Tale series. They are all standalone novels because they're all about that individual um, story. Yeah. You know, but. Oh, I love when they very do that. Fun. Very I do. fun. I love that. Um, okay, sticking with nonfiction. Okay. So I talked about the um, picture book with, about Monopoly. All right, how about a picture book about one of the world's richest billionaire men? That's gonna. They're gonna be giving away all their fortune except for like maybe ten percent hmm. before they die. Okay. Lucky kids. The kids will be. be that's so much money you could never spend it. Of course. Think smart. Be fearless. A biography of Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Very cool. Microsoft Bill. Yeah. He's got this. Mm-hmm. Very yep. cool. Everything you need to know about Bill and how you know you just picture him that you know that one that. I mean, you see him in here, he's playing, you know, games and stuff. Play Monopoly. Yeah, probably, <laughs> yes, but probably pay, playing Monopoly and all the people that he, um, you know, piled up with and how hard he studied and how hard he worked. And um, the pictures are fun. The story is great. He's got an incredible, you know, it just doesn't happen overnight. It took right. all he did was work, work and work and work and study mm -hmm. and study. Very so cool. that, another picture book. Um, uh, nonfiction. Very cool. Yep. All right. Very good. Awesome. So that was good. All I right. Mean, lots of good. Lot of good books to read. Lot of. Lot of got to read books. Lot of got to read books. <laughs> so and we'll have more got to wait. Got to knows. Got, got to, to do's. do's and got to reads next time. All right. right? Sounds we'll good do, to me. We'll yeah. Do our April. Alrighty. All right. Yahoo. Here we go. Amen. <laughs>